Hello everyone, Biopanda here from Rares Hunt with another Visual K unboxing video. We decided to do this one uh, pre-recorded instead of live just to keep y'all on your toes. We've got three boxes in, technically three boxes. It's a little bit more, but we combined some. <laughs> three boxes in from uh, all of our purchases over the last two, two months-ish, two, three months, somewhere around that range. Uh, one of them is a box from all the stuff we bought from Japan, and then we've got two boxes that are from various customers of ours who decided to thin out their collection a little bit and uh, sent it our way. And those, they all have got some really cool stuff in them. Um, I'm really excited to go through and show them off a little bit. If there's anything on here that you're, you're interested in, you'll probably be able to find it on uh, VKG. I know people have been really good about adding a lot of the stuff that's shown up in auctions lately to there, so well, that'll be your best bet. Anyways, uh, we'll get started with the first box here. So this box is uh, largely analog stuff, so a lot of cassette tapes and uh, VHSs. I forgot what they were called for a moment. <laughs> so not a ton in here, but it's, it's a lot of really good stuff, I think. So without further ado, we'll start off with the first thing that's actually not a, a demo tape or VHS to begin with, though. <laughs> okay, so keep going. Okay, so first off then we have the mini disc from the band Rafflesia. I'm not sure what the title of this is. It's not actually written anywhere on here, but I believe it has like six or seven songs on there. Well, let's get the, get the mini discs out of the way. There's three of them, I believe. And after that, we've got the Aqua Planet mini disc, Grand Line. As well as the mini disc Breeze, also from Aqua Planet. Comes with a nice little postcard there. After that, we've got our first demo tape, which is. A solo tape, I Wish I wish Fly Away With You, from the vocalist Kawodu. Yeah, Kawodu. I'm not actually sure who this is, but it seemed uh, at least vaguely interesting. Which kind of describes a lot of the demo tapes that I picked. So. Because most of these didn't have any info online, at least before they showed up on auctions. Next up, there's a demo tape from the band Piasing Pink, I believe. Piasing Pink. I'm not really sure what kind of band name that is, but it looks like some, some cute soft visual. After that, we've got a tape from the band Lounge Actor. Another unknown. I'm probably going to not say another unknown. <laughs> After each one, or else it's going to go around for a long time. A lot of these, like anything outside of the member names, it's basically on no one. So next up, we've got a band, or a demo tape rather, from the band Re Relay. I'm assuming that's how it's supposed to be pronounced. Not 100% sure. Uh, another one, I don't know what this is either. And I didn't check beforehand. <laughs> ah, I see. Okay, there's a million. Little bag. Anyways, I don't know how bags work. Next up, we have a tape from the band Jailfish. They were described as a soft digital band, so that's, that's all I got to go off of. So that's that's usually enough to sell it to me. <laughs> see, after that is a uh, full album demo tape. I guess, I don't know how, how you're really supposed to refer to those, but uh, it is like 10 or 12 tracks or something on there. Lucifer's Flap from the band Amau. This was the one of the earlier bands of Ricky, the vocalist of Dasein and Rap. I think it's the second band that he was in after Bad Timing before Dasein. Okay. After that is the demo tape Dead End from the band Real Vals. They're one of the 
lesser known zero one completion label bands. And speaking of lesser known zero complete zero one completion bands, there's like probably the the most unknown one, which is the band Rill. This is not actually a VK band as far as I know. They're like a a pop J-pop group or something. Comes with the game of the flyer. That was, I want to say, produced by one of the members of Virtue, and they they did play at a couple like VK events, as well as non VK events. Mostly the ones that were hosted by Zero One Completion. But they seemed interesting enough, and I'm, I'm on my journey to collect every single Zero One Completion release. So I had to pick it up. <laughs> okay, after that, we've got a live demo tape from the band uh, Dai Lieb Tran. Tran? Six tracks on there that were recorded live. I don't know what live. Um, I'd say inside or something. Uh, it came with a, some lovely, lovely photos of the band. You know, should get a little closer there. You get two photos with that. And then we've got three demo tapes from the band Rune. There's a restart. I don't know those kanjis. I really should. <laughs> I've been studying a little bit, but my, my kanjis are still terrible. So this band was no, mostly notable due to being one of the previous bands of the guitarist K from Modespa. I was like, there's a bunch of stickers there, the band logo and whatnot. Okay, after that we have the demo tape Hysteric from the band Sklatch. I believe this is the first press version, because if I remember correctly, they like re-recorded that tape later on after a member lineup change, I believe. Uh, is that the name of the band? Oh no. I bought these things and didn't even know. <laughs> what the name of the band is. Uh, I want to say... This is the tape over again from the band du Dupon. It says Miracle Unit Dupon. Um, or sorry, Tupon. There's no... It's not du... <laughs> I don't know how to read. Don't know who they are. There's like no info in there really. So they remain a mystery. And then I've got a self-titled demo tape from a band called The Vamp. Also have uh, zero info on that one. Okay, after that, we've got a four-track demo tape from the band Rosario. I'm not sure which Rosario this is because there's a couple. <laughs> I say a couple, but there's like four VK bands that have the name Rosario. And maybe this is one of them. Or maybe it's not. Who knows? The exciting thing about VK. Okay, after that... I'm not actually sure what, what band this is. Um, <laughs> I know, very exciting. Uh, all I know is that the seller said that it was a uh, female VK band, so I decided to try my hand at it. After that is the tape Feeling Your Love from Amu, which if my memory serves me correctly is the solo project of someone named Amu. I'm not sure what band he was in. It is on PKG though, <laughs> so there's that at least. Okay, after that we have the 
tape real, or sorry, rain live version from the band Real. There's the Kind slash Kronos tape from Aremia, which comes with a, a lovely photo of the band there. I believe this one is uh, Kronos, if I'm remembering correctly. This is actually, it's a, it's a weird package here where you can like put two demo tapes, but this only comes with just one of them. And the other one, like it has face for, for Kind or Kronos. I don't remember which one this one is. But you can buy the other one separately and then like put it in this case if you want to keep them both together for, for whatever reason. I don't know what you're supposed to do with the case that the other tape comes in. You put it on a shelf or something like Leave it empty. But that's what they decided to do. Okay. After that, we have a demo tape from the band Yurikago. Another one with basically no info. The demo tape volume one from the band Hige. Also don't know anything about this band. They were described as, as soft visual, so that's, again, all I've got to go off of. There's the presumably self-titled tape from the band Trobador. Or Trobador, with some dashes in between. As well as the self-titled tape from the band Duralimin. This is the older 90s Duralamin, not the 2000s jazzy VK Duralamin. At least as far as I know. <laughs> I think there's, there were some references to there being an older 90s Duralamin. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that's, that's them. Okay, after that, we got a tape from Lagna. The Blind Vision tape from Bellevue. We've got a demo tape from Blueberry. I'm gonna skip on a, a lot of the names if I, if I don't know them, rather than trying to, to work them out. <laughs> if you guys really wanna know what they are, you can pause the video and, and look it up on DKG. There's the uh, Endless Love slash Heart of Memory tape from D-Shade, one of their early demo tapes. The At The Night demo tape, or At That Night demo tape from Lapis Lazuli. The Collections number two tape from Dosia. As well as the Sepia tape from Wissexy. that. We have some sort of presumably self-titled tape from the band Seal. As well as maybe a self-titled tape from the band Smoky Child. After that we have the Daily Life tape from the band Orange Jam. There's a shop broadcast tape from Crazia for their first story mini album. Got the self titled tape from the band Mistrust. The Rangine, that's probably pronounced terribly, tape from the band Charles. After that is the Die Red Then Rouge tape from Dear Rouge. Skipping some, some comma tape. There's an endless comma tape. After that, we have a, another shop broadcast tape. This one is from the Night Breeze Zinnia for their Eros mini album. We have the Birthplace demo tape from Self Vicious. 
after that. Okay. <laughs> uh, some sort of six track demo tape from a band called The Rotator. No idea who they are. Did not find a single shred of info online. <laughs> uh, demo tape from the band Vale. Another endless comment tape. Neil comment tape. There's the Get Past tape from the band Duo. Um, Taboo Reality in Pandora. No, not Pandora. <laughs> Taboo Reality in Pandora from The Urge. Got this tape with a really long name from the band Rossin. Lovely female VK band. Comes in a box with uh, some photos and stuff of them, but I don't feel like opening that up. But they are in there. There's the Charge demo tape from Bronze. Uh, Nuclear Romance comment tape. The Elm tape from Girito. To that we have a potentially self-titled tape from the band Sofali, or at least Twinkle Rainbow slash Suicide from Sofali. A self-titled tape from the band First Apple. There's a ne ne Nemuri no Sora. That's probably wrong. <laughs> uh, to some some just live distributed demo tape from the band Maybreeze. Lovely band. They, have, they only have one of their demo tape, but it's uh, it's pretty nice. I think their their keyboardist in that band was a roadie for, Mo or not for Mars, but a roadie for Mouse Miser, I think, or did like support keyboards for Mouse Miser. Something like that. They have some sort of connection. Okay. After that, we have the tape Maybe Hello Hello from the band Evilberry. That's evil with two L's. It's double evil. There's the Adam demo tape from Blast. as well as one of uh, Misa's solo demo tapes. I don't remember the, the name he used there. I don't know how to pronounce it rather, but that's who it is. <laughs> okay, after that, we have a self-titled demo tape from the band D-Makes. Luckily, I was able to find a picture of them on BKG that like, had the, the katakana for how to pronounce their name so i wasn't assuming that their name was like delta make theta or something weird like that i know they were a, a vaguely zero one completion related band in that they like played at a couple zero one events or at least they were in their flyers so i think it's an independently produced tape i'll assume there's the unplugged demo tape from Rosary. The crisis tape from Cluel Neighbor. And then the volume 2 demo tape from the event search machine. I think that's all. The, probably not all the demo tapes in here. There's five more. <laughs> There's a couple CDs as well. So next up. We have the CD Set Me Free slash Traffics from the band Octopass, a lovely Digirock band. You've got the So single from Close. This is their, their new post-reunion single. Came with a nice little, nice little postcard there as well, signed. 
After that, we have the full album Colorful Palette from Groovy Lovers. I don't know much about this band. They were described as a, like, Leluvia based or Leluvia sounding band. I, like, only first heard about them in a live review where, like, they had a two man concert with Melody. And the person writing the the concert review had said that they reminded them of Luluvia. So I love Luluvia, so that was more than enough to sell it for me. (laughs) Also, I know that the band's name is supposed to be pronounced uh, Juvia, but I'm never going to pronounce it that way. (laughs) So Luluvia it stays. Uh, Let's see here. Next up, we have the mini album maybe full album the seven tracks mini album Yume no Kakeda from Messiah followed up by the mini album Many Drops Make a Shower from Letero Chair okay, after that we have the uh, new single from Hide and Seek Dorothy that just came out back in March. Next up is VHS's for Herbit. Next up we have some sort of live distributed, I presume, VHS from the band Mashiri. Maybe a PV or live footage or something on there. It gives two, two song names, so something. Unsurprisingly. There's the 1994 Xmas Present VHS from Hide. This one's a PV VHS. Yeah. The PV Collection VHS First Vision into the Orand from Aura. Followed up by the Wendy PV VHS, also from Aura. Not VK, but they're VK like. They have colored hair. <laughs> That's enough to be considered VK, maybe, right? You could argue. Okay, after that, we've got the red version of the live distributed VHS Hide Presents Mixed Lemon to Jelly 1997 A26 All Night Club event. Followed up by. Here's this one. The uh, 1991 Ecstasy Summit live VHS featuring uh, a whole bunch of different bands there. Tokyo Yankees, Virus, Lunacy, um, Yoshiki. I don't think Extra Plan actually plays like this, but there's like a bunch of like Extra Plan related sessions and stuff in there. Okay, after that. We have the live VHS Media Mix Films from Media Youth. I don't know if this one's a live or PV VHS. There's a live distributed one from Media Youth, I believe from 1995 or 1996. I looked it up on Shinjuku Loft uh, on their, their live schedule archive. But I already forgot what it was. <laughs> okay, then we have the special video VHS, also from Media Youth. This one was distributed in 1996. So maybe the other ones were 96 as well. It could be. Okay. And there's the Broken Violet tape VHS, also from Media Youth. And this was also distributed, might have been on the same date as the other one. I didn't actually double check. No. 1996, though, for this one. And it advertises one of their singles at the bottom. Okay, after that we've got the Practical Joke 2 VHS, which I believe is live footage. 
So it's got the band Sleep My Dear, Penicillin, and Media Youth. I don't know if this one is live either. E either live or PPVHS. First Legend in the Groove from Decameron. There's the PPVHS uh, Spiral Colors or Video Spiral. Video Spiral Colors, rather, from Media Youth. A lot of Media Youth in here. The live VHS Fantastic Aura Show 90 from Aura. Followed up by... I'm assuming PV. PV VHS Big Bang slash We Love the Earth from Aura. It could be just called Big Bang We Love the Earth, maybe. <laughs> there is technically no slash on there. We've got the green version of that day All Night Club event VHS. I believe the contents are the same between the two. But I don't know. So they do specify green version and red version on there, so it might be slightly different. Okay, and then after that, we have the PV VHS film of Scar People from Media Youth. Move this little box here. Okay. A couple more demo tapes. Next up, we have the Lady tape from Lady, not surprisingly. There's the Labyrinth tape from Angus Day. Agnes Day? We have a tape here from Mysterium. Followed up by the Derelict tape from Smoky Flavor. We've got the whatever this demo tape is from the band Crow, who would later go on to change their name to Kagada. That was back when they were a tea party band. Next is the semi nude tape from the man Nude. Then, I don't know what this is. Um, some sort of maybe live distributed tape featuring uh, Lemuel, Bidu, Shana, and S. There's a three. Ooh, I'll throw it there. <laughs> three tracks from. Well, one track from each of the three bands. And do the rest of the demo tape from the box first. There's the Promise Time demo tape from Laid. The Light and Shade, or sorry, Light and Shadow demo tape from uh, that band, I forget their name. Right now? Oops. <laughs> yeah, this is a too surprising. Got the uh, Sola demo tape from the meal. Some sort of tape from the band Flame. Not sure who they are. I want to say that. They might have been related to Larkin CL in some capacity, but I could just be misremembering there. There's the uh, Sweet Enemy demonstration tape from Lemuel. I don't know if this was a live distributed thing or like a shop broadcast or what, what the deal with that one is. Okay, is the morphine demo tape from Blood. Followed by another demo tape from Lady. Okay. After that, we have the self-titled demo tape from the band Kiara. 
I assume? <laughs> I don't actually know. But I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that's the band's name. As well as uh, some sort of tape from Bidu Shana. Not 100% sure what that one is, but it is. It's talking about their, the, this I think a, a three track promotional tape for their 2012-21 best album. If I'm reading the back correctly. Next up we have some more VHSs. There's the PV VHS for End This Through the Wind. We've got a PV VHS for Blue, Lead of a Wind, unrelated to the Endless one. <laughs> Maybe. This was uh, live distributed back in 1997. that. Some sort of VHS from the band Detenshi. Maybe a live VHS? Um, not sure. There's a VHS from Billy and the Sluts, London Night slash Shoot Me. We've got a live distributed Bizer VHS, Paradise Lost, The Case of Lilith, Garden of Eden. And after that, we have the live distributed VHS Dark Star from Marianne Blood. I think that was distributed at their last live, maybe? I can't remember exactly. There's the Volume 3 VHS from Crescent Moon, which features two songs on there. Presumably live. We've got a Sophia Light Distributed VHS from 1995. Followed up by a Einsvier Light Distributed VHS, also from 1995. Their Walk Remains in Your Dream. After that, let's see. It's a Live Distributed Ravecraft VHS from their Dance on Blaze Tour Final. A 1995 Live Distributed VHS from Mashira. After that, we have another Live Distributed VHS. This one is from the band Lysnor, distributed in December of 1998, and also the case is signed by the band members. Very fancy. Not sure what's on there. It's a, a very very hefty VHS, <laughs> to say the least. It's a live distributed VHS from Kill Slade. Followed up by the Sepia live distributed VHS from With Sexy. Maybe live distributed, it could be a privilege. Not good. Okay. There's more VHSs. Okay. Next up is, I believe, a live VHS, uh, Dance to Babylon from Nuclear Romance. We've got the PV, PV Collection VHS and Aphrodisiac from Der Langer. There's the Memoirs VHS from After Image. Six live tracks on there, I believe. Okay. After that, we have a VHS from Desha Bills. Presumably live, but I do not know. <laughs> There's the PV VHS Ban Ban Faya. From S. The live VHS Out D Day 
from the Dead Pop Stars. The PB Collection VHS Film Eyes Art of the Band Eyes. Followed up by, I believe, a PB Collection VHS from Lamio. There's the Fan Club Limited Live Video? Video Magazine. 4L from Laputa. No idea what's on that. But it was released in spring of 2003. It doesn't say anything about the contents on there. We've got the Moonscape PVVHS from Mystic Moon, which also comes with the Silhouette single inside of there. Interesting little box. <laughs> There's the Rebirth A Eve live VHS from Desire. So many VHSs in here. Uh, next up is a live distributed VHS from Killslade. Their Fragmentary Flues and Mad Phenomenons film. So like live and backstage footage according to that. We've got the um, SPV Variable Life and One VHS from Stray Pig Vanguard. So assume it's a live VHS. They have a bunch of PV VHSs as well. Yeah, 80 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and see my slides. Copy demo tapes in here. We've got the Reincarnation Episode 4 VHS, Legend of the Sala from the Sala, unsurprisingly. Another VHS from Deshavilles. Oh, that's two tracks, two in PTs. There's a sealed copy of Faceless Soli L2 VHS. Like the box for this one. <laughs> We've got a live VHS from Sanvika from their uh, July 25th, 2000 concert. It's in a, a really cool, like, transparent bluish purple case. Not very special, but I, I can't think I've, I've seen any VHS in, in that case like that, so special to me at least. And after that, we have the PP VHS replica from the band Cause. I want to say this was the later band of the vocalist from With Sexy, maybe? They had released like 12 PV VHSs, I think, with one PV on them each that were all like live distributed or live limited. And that's, that's one of them, at least. <laughs> so we've got a live VHS from the band Laid. There's the Flowers PV VHS from the band Noi, Noi, Noia. As well as the Strawberry PV VHS, also from Cause. Yeah, I think that's what their vocalist is. It's, it's crediting someone named CO, but I want to say it's the vocalist of With Sexy. Next, we'll be some more demo tapes in this box. Got another tape from that one band that I don't know the name of. Might be like Yo Yoka, maybe? I could be entirely off, huh? <laughs> it's basically just a guess of like, I think I remember reading their name somewhere at some point. <laughs> uh, Tone No Valentine tape from Rapture. The Deep Inside tape from Trezor. After that, we have the tape Ame no Deki Goto from Allure Idea, as well as 
Some sort of demo tape from the band S, I believe, I'm assuming. <laughs> I don't think it actually says the name S on there anywhere, but they've, they've used that symbol, so I'm going to go ahead and assume that that's them. I like that, that kanji in a circle. Some sort of, presumably, a comment tape special cassette volume one from Endless. And another tape from Rapture. There's a demo tape from Distilja. Distia? I have no idea how you're supposed to pronounce our name either. There's the self analyze tape from Cycle SM, the classic. Impact from Duke. Maybe a tape called Cold Venus from a band called The Day of Remembrance, or The Day of Revenge. Either that or it's a tape called The Day of Revenge from a band called Cold Venus. <laughs> one, one way or another. Okay, right, The Day of Revenge is in fact the name of the band. The lyrics. Make it look like Cold Venus is the name of the song. Okay, after that... We have some sort of tape from the band Blanc Mise. I think they were related to Fatima, maybe? I'm thinking of the right band. <laughs> and then we have the self-titled tape from the band Giga Slave. A random CD in here. Because, well, why not? <laughs> Presumably limited edition. Oh, that's a nice package. I like that. There's the uh, mini album Dystopia from the band uh, Varuna, which is the sort of like early incarnation of Diara. So there's a PVVHS, nice little like booklet, sort of like built in six tracks on there, five tracks on the PV DVD. Really nice. Got a back here. Got a single from Modern Suite, something invitation. There's the Buck Tick. Tour 2002 Warp Days live DVD. CD plus DVD jewelry box from the Van Jewelry. Some sort of CD from Joker. Got uh, two two copies. One, well, I guess they're both partially sealed. <laughs> the plastic's kind of ripped on them. Uh, partially sealed copies of Crystal Wall from Lysnor. Yeah, we got a live CD from Mask, Tokyo Jirenma. Another single from Mask. The blue version and black version of whatever this album is from uh, Inzaghi. I don't think this was covers. No idea. I think he had a cover album, but I don't think it's that. The uh, album? Some sort of album. Merci, Mademoiselle from Motoki. Very strange person. There's the Monsters Junk Story album from Mixed Speakers Inc. Smashing. You didn't see that. <laughs> Smashing. Smashing Brain single from the Piz Lazuli.
Uh, see here, two two signed copies of whatever this this single or mini album is. I want to say the band's name is uh, Soda Sanju or something like that. Soda Soju, maybe something like that. We got two copies of the single Lover's Day from Love Bites. The Limit Complex single from Penicillin. Bless single from Mega Maso. Whatever that mini album, mini album is from Alice 9. There's the Alice in Wonderland CD, also from Alice 9. The Funny Love Song single from Like Absolute Myself. Whatever this... Is it CD Plus DVD? CD Plus DVD is from Malice Miser, still sealed. We've got two copies of the full album Dot Zero from the band Mirai, or the solo artist Mirai, rather. There's the Days in Green single from Raspberry Circus. As well as the mini album Love Scene, also from Raspberry Circus. Alright, after that is... Yeah. The single Monster Family from Mix Speakers Inc. Followed up by the Again single from Mislead. We've got two copies of the mini album Zero, also from Mislead. The single Stardust from Mislead. Some single? Some some single from Mook. I don't know which the name of that one is. <laughs> There's the single My Wish Horror Xmas from Mixed Speakers Inc. The Maskist single from Mask. Falling Down single, regular edition from Mook. The mini album Blackjack To Chikami? No? Cho? <laughs> Mini album from Yuga, the solo project to the vocalist from Devil Kitty. Got two copies of Murder Scope from Matmer Opera. Two copies of Status from Meteor. Was the Five Peaches single from uh, Medical Trans Peach? Got the Afterglow single from Mars. Kind of a mini album, five tracks. There's the single Cinemascope from Ronde. Whatever this mini album is from the band Rose. It's the, the rose that would later rename their name to be uh, Kabukicho Night, I believe. Okay, next up is the single Rebirth from Abyss from Yami Nade. Two copies of Love and Peace from Milfini. Uh, something with a really long name from Mabius. The full album Awake of Youth from Media Youth. Followed by the single, maxi single, I think it was a maxi single, can't remember. Um, Smile of Next from Risk. Let's Risk with a WI. Okay. Then we have a, another mini album from the solo project of Yuga as well. Then, um, an, an album from Messiah, Ma Messiah, 
I think that was the guy who uh, led the cult that Toshi from X Japan was in, if I remember correctly. I vaguely remember in like Toshi's autobiography about about that time that I think the guy's name was Masaya and he was a musician as well. So it could be him <laughs> or someone else. Some completely unrelated, maybe. Okay. Next up, we have the single um, Toai Nai Toai Daito from Metronome. Two, two copies of that and a little sticker as well. Or two stickers, rather. One was stuck to the bottom of the CD after that, or at the top of the CD after. Uh, next up is the single Kisumi Choo Choo from Mega Machu, the mouse based alter ego band of Mega Maso. Got the C single from Mask. A gay house single from Luke. And then the full album Karuma from Luke. There's one, one last box in this box. Okay, let's see. What's this called? <laughs> uh, the CD plus VHS box set to escape from Mirage. Comes in a giant honkin' plastic case. There's whatever this live VHS is from the band Oop. Hold it down. Keys, Hesse. So pretty, pretty long live VHS, I'm assuming. Still, like there's a lot of tracks on there. There's some sort of VHS from Mirage talking about their like three single release campaign. Don't know what that is. Look on BKG, I guess. <laughs> Uh, some sort of presumably live VHS. I'm not 100% sure. Um, yeah, could be a CD plus VHS. No, yeah, it does seem to be a CD plus VHS. From the event uh, something at a Uji. So there's psychedelic release. There's the Truth PV VHS. From Fanatic Crisis. The uh, live DVD Matina Presents 1999 523 at Shibuya Honor West, featuring a whole bunch of bands <laughs> uh, Veladana, Destray, Angus Day, Zephyr, S, Rimaj, Vasala, Azalea, Das Vasser, Anti Feminism, Death Grail, and Mirage. Okay, after that we have, I believe this is a PV VHS. It could be live though. Groovers <laughs> File Mix from Phonetic Crisis. There's the Omnibus VHS Approach 3, which features the bands Cynthia, Cassis, Sinners, Crank Up NG, Nelsis. Seven, Bijou, Lysnor, Melody, Pleiades, and Dels Quell. We've got another various artist VHS. This one is the 1995 Last Live at Nogaya Diamond. <laughs> Sorry. 1995 Last Live at Nogaya Diamond Hall. Featuring Merry Go Round, She's a Do, Phonetic Crisis, Rowage, and Romance 4. And then some other bands. Croesus, Jubaku, maybe? Of J and Face, Bakshana, Miserable, Style, a whole, whole bunch of bands on there. There's the Mitina Second Anniversary Live Distributed VHS. Not Live Distributed. It does have a price on the back. <laughs> live Limited, maybe? I don't know. It was limited to 500 copies according to that. The back of it. We've got a. 
VHS from Dishabills. This is the third one in the series. There's four, I believe. They're all live distributed, or live limited, rather. It's individually numbered. We got number 853. Another copy of that Lamiel VHS. There's the Bokushimo Bay DV VHS from Alien Mariage. Got a, another Deshabilles VHS. I'm starting to pile up pretty high here. <laughs> Some sort of VHS from the band Grim the Capsule. Cap Capsule. There's two live distributed VHSs from Rouage. Uh, there's Shikumare Tadoki. So uh, one and two. They're both by distributed back in 1994. Okay, next up is the Making of Truth Tour Final VHS from Fanatic Crisis. The first anniversary 1998 VHS, Medina. There's a PV VHS from Fanatic Crisis. Uh, Suki no Hana slash Rain. We've got the Matina Presents 1999 Psychodrama Special Night VHS. A live distributed VHS from Seven from their Psycho Tour 1988 1999. Got a Presumably Privileged VHS from Mashira. It's a special making video of one of their PVs. There's the uh, second VHS in the Alien Mariage Alienation box. This one is footage of their like in-store events and a Torah film compilation. Presumably, I think there's like four or five VHSs in the Alienation box. But I think you could either buy separately or buy them all together. But we only got one, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, there's a, another Rouage live distributed VHS. An Orphe PV VHS. And then some sort of uh, Tokuten VHS from Syndrome. Do not know what release that's from. Some, some syndrome, please. Yeah, I'm almost done with this box. Kind of. <laughs> okay, next up, we've got the Chronicles. Oh, it's hard to see. Chronicles Best CD Plus Video Box from Jill's. Which I think is like a book and VHS and CD all in there. We've got this giant Hawken, honkin. <laughs> VHS box set from Alien Mariage. It's kind of hard to show off on camera, especially with this time pile here. There's the Chisato Xmas special box, which has uh, two VHSs, I think, in there. Something like that. Probably something else, too. Some sort of weird package here. <laughs> It's some collaboration product between Hakue and Black Peace Now. I think it has like a photo book in there. There's a, a, a tote bag that this whole package is in. Some badges, a, a book, some seals, a bandana, probably some other stuff. <laughs> I, have, I have literally no idea about this thing, but we got it anyway. There's the vinyl version of the remix album Ectomorphized Works, or Ectomorphed Works, rather, from Larkin CO. 